It's windy and it's cold, but that is no excuse for me to talk about an app that I use on my phone almost daily. People might have other preferences when it comes to note-taking apps, but what I really like about Evernote is its cloud syncing feature. What this means is I can access my notes through a web browser, update them, and those updates will be synced to my phone immediately. It also means that if I buy a new phone and I want to transfer my data, all I need to do is download the app on the new phone, sign into it, and all my data will be there for me waiting. I've only ever used the free version of Evernote because it gives me all the functionality that I need, and I don't really like their subscription-based model. On a side note, I use another app to do my to-do lists, but we'll talk about that in a future video. In this video, I want to talk about five ways that Evernote has helped to simplify my life. Here in China, dealing with government departments, especially for the first time, can be really complex. Things such as applying for visas, losing your passport, which is really not fun, can be very complex. And so I use Evernote to take notes of how to do these things the first time I do them. That way, if I need to do them again in the future, I have a list of exactly how to go through these processes. Two foods I really like to make are bread and hummus. But sometimes I can't remember how much of each ingredient I need, and so I put these in Evernote for quick reference. Here in China, foreigners are legally required to carry their passports with them at all times. Of course, this is not very practical, so what I do is I keep a scan of my passport in Evernote. To do the actual scanning, I use another app called Office Lens, but we'll talk about that in another video. Housing contracts, work contracts, and internet details all go into Evernote too, for quick reference. I have two very important checklists. The first one is my packing checklist for when I go on holiday. The second one is my bills checklist. This checklist I use for when I get paid so that I can make sure that I've paid everything that needs to be paid and then I don't need to worry about these things until the next month. Now, this one has a bit of a backstory to it. A couple of years ago, I moved from one city to another and during the course of moving, I decided I would make a list of everything before I move and then use that list to make sure that I hadn't lost anything in the process of moving. Afterwards, I just figured I'd keep the list and every time I bought something new, I would just add it to the list and I've had that list up until now. This list has a very psychological effect. Every time I'm tempted to buy something, I look at the list and I think, do I really need it? Do I really want to make this list bigger? Now, some people might think that making a list is a really big hassle, but you can take it slowly. Take a day and choose a room or a corner of a room and slowly start making notes of the things that you have. As my list got bigger and bigger, it evolved and I've come up with a system for managing all my stuff. Let me show you. I recently got rid of a yoga mat that I wasn't using, so I'm going to delete it off my list. And then I recently bought a pair of Crocs, which I will add to my list. So first I add the description, when it was bought, price. Does it have a box or does it not have a box? I did not keep the box for these, so I'll put NB, no box. And a new thing that I'm going to start doing is adding the place that I bought it from. So in this case, I bought it from Taobao, so it will be TB. This list comes in really handy as well because perhaps I find that I don't want to use something anymore. I found, you know, I haven't used it in a while. I've got all the information for it so I could resell it or throw it away or give it away. So this list really helps in that regard too. So these are the five ways in which Evernote has made my life simpler. If you have any better ideas on how you can use it or you have any suggestions or anything like that, please leave it in the comments. If you like this kind of content and you want to see more, please support me by doing one of these three things and I'll catch you in the next one.